Oh, what's that? Meat, shit. Meat nips. What is that? Oh, oh my God. Look what I found here, guys. Oh, my poor little peptide here. You got to be nice to him. You can't shake him up. You can't do anything. Well, we're going to dispel that right now. Or maybe it's true. I don't know. But I'm going to sacrifice. Watch out. I'm going to sacrifice. I got a shot left here at M1, okay? This one I know for sure works because it lights me up and it lights me up good, all right? So let me wake the guy up here. So get a lot of flack on, oh, you're shaking your peptides too much. Oh, nice slam on the table. All right, no big deal. I'm calling bullshit. Everyone else isn't. So we're gonna put this theory to the test today, all right? If you don't know me, my name is Ben. Don't like my channel, don't subscribe. I don't need it, it's okay. I'm just doing this for the fun of it, okay? So, let's test the theory out. And I'm gonna beat this around. And if it's true, if I damage the, the, peptide, the peptide amino acid chain, then I won't be getting lit up. It'll probably take like 10 minutes, so let's try this, all right? Here we go. Spin that baby up. Give a little flicks, little spankings. You know, these kids, these little babies, you know, you gotta make them, gotta be real nice to them, real gentle. Think that's enough? Think it's beat up enough? Nah, let's do more. All right, let's hit it. Gotta clean it off, right? <laughs> All right, we're gonna do 10. 10 units. 10 units, which is 10 milligrams. There we go. All right, that's beat up, right? Get a little more wicks, flicks. All right, I should not get a reaction off this, right? That's what everyone says. Where should we put it? Put it anywhere, let's put it right here. All right, start the timer. Well, while we're sitting here waiting to see what happens, let's talk about a few things here. Probably make that on another video too, but I got 10 minutes to kill. But I don't know, I'm not that good at uh, video editing. I do photography well, but not videoing. I don't know much about it. Um, so here's one thing that I came across these peptides, okay, is that your bacterial stat water, now there is a cutoff point, and I, I came across it one, a long time ago on the internet, that if you use a product up really quick, you don't have to use bacterial stat water, you could just use sterile saline water, right, to mix, mix your, uh, peptides or whatever okay I forget what the cutoff day was 
maybe if you keep it in the vial over 10 days or something then you then you want to use bacterial stat water because you don't want bacteria to grow in here and then inject yourself with something or you know that might make you sick bacteria grows in here kills your vial or whatever you have in there just destroys it you don't want to do that so that's kind of what the alcohol is doing inside of a uh, the alcohol inside of the sterile saline that's all bacterial stat water is small percentage of alcohol and sterile saline so what you guys can do to save money is sterile saline is a lot cheaper than bacterial stat water on the internet so if you have something that you inject all the time quite frequently and you're running through your vials pretty quick like AOD 9604 like these vials go in a couple days all right so I've been using sterile saline on those vials and it works just perfectly fine BPC 157 no worries man I, I, I one vial lasts 10 days 10 days is work. I have no no problems no issues with anything uh, TB 500 same thing ba uh, sterile saline just works now, the terzepatide that I just mixed up, this file is going to last one month long. So I want to use bacterial stat water in this, okay? I got four doses out of here once a week. Um, yeah. Some up, up uh, upcoming videos, I got thymelin in. Th thymelin, yeah, thymelin. And I got uh, apatalon, which I hear are make a good synergistic effect, just like the uh, Wolverine stack, PPC-157, and TB-500. So, um, yeah, man, that's it. So I guess now I just sit back and wait, and then uh, maybe I'll put the video up of the uh, thymelin and the epithelon. So tomorrow, the so basically the theory is epithelon is supposed to stop your telomeres. And supposed to, that's how it stops your anti your, your, your aging process. When people measure how long someone's going to live for, they measure the, your telom telomeres on the on the ends of your cells or something like that. Exactly, I'm not sure. I'm just a paramedic. I save lives. I don't. I mean, I I learned it, but that really goes deep. Forget all that little stuff nonsense. Um. So yeah, let's see. Let's see what happens, man. I'm gonna figure out if I can't figure out on YouTube how to. Uh, speed this section up fast forward it to about 10 minutes uh, then i'll just delete it out delete the middle of the cut the middle of the video out so when this stuff kicks in every time i get red flush my head gets hot I get red blotchy all over the chest every time when i do m2 m2 is twice as bad it's probably twice as bad because it's twice as strong as m1 and the half-life is twice as twice as long as m1 so M1, you have to inject as much, you have to inject twice as much as the M2. But um, like I said, man, uh, M2, uh, the, M, the, M, the, the color on M1 is better. It's more browner, they say. M2, a little bit more orange. I compared it to my neighbor, she's on M2. My color was better than her. Um, my daughter, I put my daughter on it, she tried it. Um, she has acne and she said it cleared up her acne and I, I couldn't come across anything on the internet about that so uh, which I found interesting but um, all right let's see let's wait let's see what happens man make sure this video is still recording yeah So I got you here. Yeah, this is my setup that I do, right? Okay. Remember, in every one of my videos, I do, um, in the comment section, I put the protocol. It's all typed out. My own dosages, according to the books that I've read. Um, I typed it all out, made it myself, just so it's easily broke down. And what I do here is, here, I'll show you. So like, so like, here's my BPC, right? Cause I, I mean, I don't know, man. I'm getting old as fuck, dude, and I can't remember this shit all the time. So, 
BPC. It's easy. I know exactly what to do. I had TB in here, but my injuries are all healed, so I'm 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 done with the TB. This is my last file on of uh, BPC. Copper peptides right here. AODs. Some other stuff. Vitamin Bs. Here's one. Samorlin. Gotta do one on Samorlin too. Here's the M1. There's Epitide. And that's what I got, man. Makes everything really easy. Compact. Also, my ne also the needles that I use. I was telling on the other video that to sit. You don't really need to save on vid needles. I mean, they're not expensive, but when you do like a bunch of long regimens, it takes a long time. Pulling in, in and out of these, each one of these vials, you know, if you're pinning up 10 to 15 times a day or something, it's, it's, it's getting monotonous. So like the AOD, so yeah, like, so like here. So this was, the, here's my M1 that I, my previous one that I got right here. So I'll take a 0.33 syringe and I'll pull it up to 30. And I know the dose is 10, 10 units for one milligram. And so I just, I'll just see, I'll just bump, I'll just bump 30 to 20. That's one dose, 20 to 10. That's my one dose. And in between, I'll just clean the needle off. And then some, sometimes I'll, I'll just spray a little alcohol inside of there just to keep the area a little clean, you know, or sterilized, right? So let's see. I don't feel anything yet. Well, let's wait, see what happens. Come here, meat mix. Yeah, these guys on my channel, on my BPC video, they were, uh, they were hammering me. Oh yeah. Nice, nice swirl. No, yeah, then just slam it on the table. Yeah, let's do it. I don't know, man. I think it's all bunk um, about being rough with peptides. I mean, dude, if it's mixed up, it's kind of like people say. Uh, I heard one time this guy at the fire department that said, uh, "Hey, uh, d don't don't blend your protein in a blender because the, the blades chop up all the proteins and break them down, and then you're useless." I'm like, come on, dude, give me a break. Well, my head, I'm starting to feel a little heat on my head. But let's see what happens. This is my cat meat shit. She's a hot shit. She's a huntress. She always hangs out with me. Meat shit? What are you saying, huh? Yeah, you guys can fast forward this point. Anyways, you guys want to see my tan? M1 tan. There it is. There's a lot of um. Jesus Christ on on Reddit, man. These M2 questions, dude. They're just nonstop on there, dude. I see a lot of people underdosing on there. And wondering why stuff doesn't work. My biggest thing on the M1 was, uh, or an M2 is just, you hit it just before you go out and tan in the sun, man, and to prevent you prevent you from getting burned, sunburn, and and it'll get you tan really quick. It's pretty awesome. Like when I see my yard, I go out here and do yard work all the time, and this thing is, yeah. I won't get burned. It's pretty badass.
Meet shit, what are you doing, huh? Meet shit, what are you doing? Starting to get red. Meet shit. How you doing, huh? I mean, shit, what do you think? M1 still works, huh? I'm getting lit up now. All you keyboard warriors. <laughs> I think it's just a myth about having to coddle and cradle your peptides. Put them down to bed at 7 p.m. Make sure they get their full eight hours of sleep, you know? <laughs> it's definitely kicking in. I mean, that just goes to prove it. Shake it up. Mix it up. I don't see what the big deal is. See, I'm a street medic. I figure out the easiest, quickest, best ways to do stuff. When it comes to medical information, most of that stuff's all nonsense. It's all bullshit on the internet. There you go. It's just going to continue to get worse. Let's see how long, let's check the video, see how long we're in. 19 minutes. Well, there you have it. All red, blotchy. It'll get worse. But I don't know. You guys on my comments, this is for you. Y'all said I would break the peptides. They're all bunk now, right? Well, you're wrong. Don't believe everything you read on the internet, fellas, ladies. Have a good day.